In this video, you're going to see the fastest way to tie the spider hitch knot on braided line. And uh, this spider hitch is really, it's a, it's a loop knot that many people use instead of the bimini twist because it's, it's just faster to tie. And it's, uh, again, a loop knot that is, uh, that is used really uh, in tandem with another knot to have a really, really, really strong line to line connection. So uh, first of all, let's just show you, uh, you know, how to tie it. And then uh, at the part where it comes, where it deviates from the norm, I'll of course explain it. So uh, first, this is obviously the tag end of the braid. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, and overlap it. And I like to give myself about, uh, you know, we're going to, the base of this is our loop. I personally like to do about maybe eight inches or so, and that's what we have here. So I'm going to pinch it off here with my right hand. And uh, so that's pinched off. Now we have this loop. And uh, so here is uh, first, the first thing is just to make a loop inside of that loop, essentially. So we basically just created uh, the start of almost like an overhand knot where we have the, uh, you know, the tag end loop at the end. Um, so the normal way that, I, that I've seen uh, explanations on how to tie this is to, to do wraps around like around your thumb and forefinger. And uh, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I've had a really hard time doing that. But what I found to be really, really easy is, uh, is just put a pinky in, in the actual loop, in that second loop that you created. And, uh, and so this tag loop, instead of going around our, uh, our thumb, is we just simply just go around, around the loop itself and do it five times. So just grab it with your back hand. So there's one, two, three, four, five. And I'll just go it one more time, six. So uh, with braided line, as uh, some people recommend going more, I've done some testing on it. I can't tell that much of a difference between five loops and, uh, and up to 10. So, uh, but obviously, you know, you're more than welcome to, to go more. It just becomes a little bit harder to cinch down. So anyhow, now that we have those wraps, again, there's, uh, in this case, we did six wraps all going from right to left. Uh, we then take the, the tag loop and go through this loop that we created. So go through it. So now uh, we have the tag end in the main line over here on the right. Uh, we have the, the original tag loop on the end that is going through the loop we created. And then what we do is just grab all four, all four you know, grab the loop, the two lines in the loop, the uh, tag end in the main line, and just go ahead and, and just cinch it down and just pull till it gets tight. Um, sometimes it kind of curves over like that, but as you pull tighter and tighter and tighter, it'll eventually smooth out. All right, so here is our spider hitch loop. Again, just a nice, simple loop knot. Uh, here's the knot, as I said before, once you put more pressure, it'll cinch down. And so now all I have to do is just cut off the uh, tag end here, and then we are set. So there it is, as uh, simple as that. Um, and then, so the next step for the, the final, you know, the true line-to-line -line connection would be to use this loop to tie a, a connection you can use a variety of different knots. But, uh, but what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm, I'm doing a test on the strength of this spider hitch compared to the bimini twist, uh, also compared to some other knots that are that are supposed to be really good loop knots, and uh, like the surgeon knot and, uh, and one other one. So anyhow, we're gonna do some testing to see the results of that testing. I'll put a link down below, and uh, if you have any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment. Otherwise, see you again soon. There's something about the water that'll give you peace all by yourself or with your family. Live salt strong and wear the line today.